She is giving this ministry all she's got. Her entire family is behind it. And she has pulled us into this ministry where we see young people literally turning their hearts to God. They are finding their passion and they are embracing their purity. I will not speak much longer, but put your hands together and give a mighty, well on, a mighty welcome to this woman of God. She'll be talking about passionately pure and loving it. Uh, the founder of this ministry, Mistress Donnet Norman, give God thanks for her. Come on, young people, come on, put your hands together and bless the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I will be sharing with you for a few minutes because time is going and I'm going to oblige you to sit and hear what it is that is on my heart for you. There is a call. There is a cry in the spirit. There is a call for young people to be sold out to God. It can happen. And there are people like myself who have heard a cry in the spirit have heard your spirits crying out to God, you are saying, help me. And God has heard your cry. And this is one of the emphasis that he's raising up in this time, to meet you. And I'm challenging you, if you want to make a difference, you can. Now let me share with you briefly. We have gone out and we have done everything that we could possibly do to get this ministry off the ground. Auntie Alicia and myself, Uncle Andrew and Sister Jackie, my sister Jackie, we have put everything into it. We not only give you a conference, we document everything so you can take it home with you. We spent hours and hours making, putting the message in this form for you. You are writing history. You are a part of the first COED Passion and Purity Conference. We are saying that there are some young people who love Jesus. There are some young people who are tired of the foolishness. And there are some young people that say, I want to make it. If that's you, shout yes. yes. Now let me say I'm here to do two things. I'm here to reflect on the life of a young man I never met. It was early, yes, this year, that I heard of a young man who was killed in a motor vehicle accident. I saw it on the news and my heart was grieving as usual. But I had no clue that I knew his aunt. And so I called her and I was just talking to her and she said, that's my nephew. And she began to tell me about this young man. Now I had lots of things to do on that weekend and the Lord said to me, you must journey to St. Elizabeth. When I journeyed to St. Elizabeth and I sat in that home giving service, the Lord said to me, this is one young man who exemplifies the message you are trying to bring across. Incidentally, his aunt had told him about passion and purity and he would have wanted to be at this conference. He would be at this conference. He was the one that was taking down the letter and the passion and purity book to Monroe. He was killed in the accident. His aunt went through his things and she found the book. And the Lord said, document his life. He was ready. He was passionate. He was pure. And I took him. At that service, I saw and I heard people testify of a young man and the life he lived, there are many people who have lived to 80 and never accomplished what he accomplished. As a young man, he found time to take care of an elderly blind lady who is about 100 years old. He was the president of the ISCF movement, the student council representative, the prefect for the dorm. He was the coordinator of the gospel choir. He was a substitute French teacher for the fourth form students. He was a member of the United Nations Tourism Action and Debate Club. He was the best junior contributor to the life of the school in 2005 to 2006. The best performance in CSEC French Spanish Principles of Business. 
He passed several weeks just before he was supposed to take a trip to the United Nations to represent Monroe and the Jamaica at the United Nations Conference. He taught Sunday school. He preached. He sang. He found time for everybody. And God said, write the book. He said, put him down and document him as one young man who stood out from the crowd. He was passionately pure and he was loving it. Put your hands together for him. What blessed me was when I looked in the program and I saw in his own words, the profile from his high five page. Now at school, I teach all the six formers PD. Personal development, I'm a second year coordinator. I took this to them in devotion and I challenged them. I said, if you were to die in a motor vehicle accident and they should pull your high five page, what would be on it? As a young man, this is what he wrote in his own words from his high five page. That's why you need to get it because who say young people can't live holy? There are young people that are living holy for God. If you believe it, put your hands up and give God praise. He reminded me of me at 12 years old was teaching Sunday school. By the age of 18, I was preaching in revivals all across this country. I found out that there was a gift in me and I found out that there were aunties and uncles ready to unlock it. The first time I held a mic in a revival and saw the Holy Spirit move, I realized that I am a God house. I realize that God lives in me and that is why I have a passion to loose you, to chop you loose from sexual promiscuity. This is what he said. I am a God-loving Christian. I'll be interested in anything as long as it is not immoral. I can be a fun person if you try to get to know me. My interest, reading, singing, swimming, and praising the Lord. My favorite quote is, there is always a positive or a negative result to whatsoever you do in life. You need some more Jesus in your life. I have made a promise to God. No sex before marriage. His word blatantly says, flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a man commits are outside his body, but he who Sin sexually sins against his body. Don't you know that your body is a temple of God and that you are bought with a price? Therefore, honor God with your body. And while I was typing this, I heard the Lord tell me to tell you, I want my body back. I paid for you. I want my body back. And I'm jealous for my investment in you. And my sister is here and his aunt is here. It was a tough time. But I am determined that I'm going to spread this all across the globe. When our website is up, it, I'm going to tell everybody. And guess what? I, this made me see that the devil is a liar. The devil has been saying that the, the more young people running up and down. I have proven that there are many more young people who are virgins than are not. That there is a set of young people that are saying we have ignored them and we are just paying attention to those who are running after the devil. But can somebody pay me some attention? Can somebody see that I want Jesus? And we got together and we say, yes, we're going to show you. We're going to bring Jesus to you and pull you out. Since passion and purity, there are so many songs that are coming. So many emails that are coming. So many poems that are coming. The Holy Ghost has gone ahead and chopped off those things off your spirit that defile you. And now the art forms are popping up. There are so many who wanted to write articles. Let me tell you, I want to write books and put your articles in this. I want to put you on TV. I want you to stand up for Jesus. At the Passion and Purity Conference at JC, my little nephew, he saw the words of DJ Nicholas in the back of the book. And I went to the house and I saw him. And every day he was before the computer. And he was just singing DJ, it was just DJ Nicholas, DJ Nicholas, DJ Nicholas. Until he did it, he did that presentation at first assembly. And then when we had the Congress last week, he did it. And he was outside a while ago and he heard them doing his song. And that boy was not supposed to be up here, but he blazed up. The gift in him stood up and said, I want to bless Jesus. And that's you too. Manuel boy, stand up for me. I sent for you specially, stand up. Because these men were grieved that God took one of them.
But God said, guess what? Don't, don't, don't question my wisdom. We went on the high five Facebook and we pulled off some of the things that the other young men said. Let, um, let me tell you something. Put your hands together. Bless the King of Kings. Bless the Lord of Lords. Bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. For Amal's life. As a matter of fact, stand up, stand up, let's stand up. Lift your hands to God and just praise him for Amal's life. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. Yes. We praise you, God. Yes. We honor you, God. Yes. Come on, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. Hallelujah. You may be seated. I'm wrapping up, but I must deliver. I must deliver briefly. God says to tell you that to be passionate and pure and loving it, you must love his word. I remember the day when God challenged me about my music. I didn't even give them away, I just burned them up. He says, you can't follow me. He says, if you're going to be passionate and pure, if you're going to find your purpose, you got to find the word and you have to love the word because the word is a seed. God made me fall in love with the word. I started to buy every book I could find. And I bless God for my father, because for my child, Every time he went out, he brought us book that we could just read and learn about God. And guess what? There are a whole set of young people from our church way up in the hills of St. Anne that journeyed here. They're writing songs. They're praising God. And guess what? A while ago, I'm sitting over there on the phone. I'm a, and I'm, the phone ring and it's my father. He says, guess what? I have to pass through. Stand up, daddy. He just came through the door. Stand up. Stand up. Come on. Put your hands together for him. You have to love the word of God. You have to follow the word of God. Because guess what? The Holy Spirit follows the trail of the word. When God look in your heart, you know, look to see how much word in there, you know. Because he hastens to perform his word. So many of you, guess what? The secret to get out of loss is just to get the word of God inside of you. Thy word that I may not God said there's one secret to passion and purity. Just get in the Holy Ghost. You can't be passionate and pure without getting the Holy Ghost. So say, Lord, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Let me say this. I'm calling forth a generation of young people. Apostles, prophets, teachers, evangelists. Passion and purity has been raised up. To, it's a swift sword in the spirit. It's riding across the nation. And for any young person who will say, guess what? I'm tired of this and I want God to purge me. The word is just waiting to purge you. Fall in love with the word. Invest in gospel singers like DJ Nicholas and Jermaine Edwards. Another thing that I've been traveling around this nation and doing is I'm, have, I'm on a campaign. I'm on a campaign and this is what we're saying. We're saying, Lord, and I want you to say after me with your passion. Say, Lord. See a Movado. See a Vibes Cartel. See a Spice. Baptize them with the Spirit. We call them forth. God says there's a cry of intercession inside of you to call them out from sin because they're ripe. I come today to call some of you into purity, to call some of you into passion. Some of you need to go home and cut out that relationship. That boy full of AIDS. And in plan to give it to you, you don't even know. By the word of the Lord, I call you today. Some of you not performing in school because your head full of the wrong stuff. But get the Holy Ghost to fill me, Lord. Last week, while coming to the Congress, God said, Stop joking with these young people. Whether on school platform or church platform, just lose the Holy Spirit to do the work. And guess what? Those who are coming after me, Sister Judy, we're co they're coming up in a few minutes. We say we want we young people. We're not leaving you to the devil. Some of you will never be the same again. Come on, we're going one minute of plugging into the Holy Ghost. Cry out for help and say, Lord, help me. God says, if I can find a weakness, I can pull out enough more man like Amal. And today he has come to call you. The Lord told me that from this congregation today, some of you are going to decide to be pastors. Some of you will be doctors who will stand up. Man, oh guys, come up here with me while I pray this prayer. God said, I must make a standing proxy for, for Amal. His aunt and, and sister come. Hallelujah. 
I hear the crying in your spirit. I hear some young people saying, God, loose me. Loose me from loss. Loose me from pornography. Loose me from perversion. Hallelujah. I give myself away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lift your hands and give yourself away. Come, Pastor. Come, Diane. Come, Andrew. Can you use me and give myself away? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I agree with you. I agree with you for God's plan and purpose. Hallelujah. We release a spirit of might right now to fulfill the purpose of God. Some of you feel like you don't have any strength right now. But God is strengthening you right now in the midst of this anointing. In the midst of this anointing, strength is coming to you. If you can just say yes to God, it might be a feeble yes. But if you can give God a yes right now, if you can say, Lord, not my will, but yours be done. The angel of God is going to visit you right now. The angel of might. The angel of might. The angel of might is coming to strengthen you right now. In the name of Jesus, you're not going to know when that captivity is cut off of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. I was praying for you last night and I saw many of you. I saw many of you in the spirit uh, and the spirit of God says I want you and I want you to fulfill your destiny and I'm empowering you today to fulfill your destiny hallelujah Jesus we believe we believe we believe come on church somebody say I believe come on say I believe for somebody that cannot believe for themselves right now say I believe come on shout it out I believe I believe, I believe. glory to God Jesus said he that believeth on me the works that I Jesus do shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because I go to my father you believe that today do you believe that you can do the same works you know what there's a generation of young people that just crazy enough to believe everything they see in the Bible and I believe there are some people here that believe that some young people that believe that if Jesus said it he know how to get me there he said if you believe on me hallelujah the same works that I do shall you do also and greater works than these shall you do because I go to my father somebody say thank you Jesus say thank you Jesus say Lord I believe and I receive it this day in Jesus name come on tell somebody beside you I believe tell him I'm gonna be a witness for Jesus hallelujah is there someone who came today and you gave your life to Jesus? Put your hand up. You came, yes, I see that hand. You gave your life to Jesus. Okay, I see those hands. If you came and you committed to, to ministry, put your hand up. If you came to the altar for God to strengthen you, put your hand up. Come on, come on, come on. We thank God. And we give God thanks for Monroe. Because all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. So we say it's